Flappy Catters and welcome to our favorite cat toys video. You know that this is going to open up with my all-time favorite cat toy, which is the Yao Catnip Banana. My cat Rags, who's the reason I founded FloppyCats.com, was gifted the Yao Catnip Banana by Santa. And it was the one toy over his 19 and a half years of life that he always returned to over and over again. And since then, all of our other cats have responded just as favorably to it. The banana has a canvas yellow outside and then it's filled with 100% organic catnip on the inside. So if your cat's busted open, it's not a problem because it's just filled with organic catnip, which is totally fine for them to ingest. And you'll notice that some of the footage shows that there's like a green on the outside of the banana and that's because it's the catnip mixed with their saliva is turning the yellow canvassy material into green. Many readers love the Yow Catnip Banana as well, so that is why it's my all-time favorite cat toy. Next up is the Ripple Rug. The Ripple Rug consists of two rugs, one full rug on the bottom, and then the one on the top has different holes so that you know your kitty can stick their head through, their paw through, and you can also berry treats or more Yao catnip toys like the pumpkin there. You can also put like wand toys or felted wool balls and stuff like that so that they can, you know, stick their paws in and really investigate and see what's going on on the other side of that hole. My cat Trig, shown here, really loves the Ripple Rug and it's always featured every year in his favorite products giveaway. Moving on to electronic toys, the Black Hole Catch the Tail cat toy is reminiscent of the undercover mouse that came out years ago, but this one has many improved functions, including the fact that the wand actually clicks on so it stays on, the cat can't pull it off. It also can go in random patterns so that the cat doesn't get bored. Both of my cats absolutely love this toy. Trig meows for it, which is weird for Trick to Meow because he gets so excited when I pull it out. Now I wouldn't leave it out unattended because my cats have chewed on the end of the wand a little bit, like the actual undercover mouse part. They they chew on the mouse part and if that was swallowed that could end up as an emergency surgery. I don't always bring it out every day because I want them to have the diversity and the interest. Next up is the Bergen Turbo Scratcher Cat Toy. This is a classic, classic, classic cat toy. Most people have it. It's got the ball on the outside, the scratcher on the inside. This is Charlie playing with it as a kitten. He runs to this scratcher every morning when I get up and start brushing my teeth and he scratches on it and then he'll hit the ball around a couple times. So I really like that it's a dual purpose toy because it not only allows them to play with the ball and the ball's easy to take out of the track and like, throw across the room or roll across the room and have your kitty chase it as well. But the scratcher on the inside is replaceable and reversible. So you can, you know, get it on both sides. This is my parents' cat, Murphy, who is past playing with it. Next up, the Nina Otteson Dog Brick. This is the old version on the left and the new version on the right. And they both have bones in the middle and then these sliders so you can put the treats underneath the bones or you can put the treats underneath the sliders and then when they made the new one, you'll see that there's like a lid on one of the sliders. So there's three treat compartments now on the newer one. And Charlie absolutely loves these puzzle toys. If you have a kitty who is food motivated and you can put the treats in there, these are great to leave, like if you're gone all day at work or something, because it will entertain them and you could even put it out when they you know, were sleeping or something and they can find it later and it will keep them entertained until you get home or at least entertained for part of that. I also like to put these out when my sister goes out of town. I will go and check on her cats and put one of these out overnight and when I come back it's always emptied. So it really gives them something stimulating to do and helps honor that play hunt instinct that cats have. Sugar Boy's Fuzz Fetch Wool Ball Toys are a great option if you're looking for a toy where you don't really need a lot of supervision and also one that's 100% natural and safe from chemicals and other things that you have to worry about with cat toys. These are made from 100% alpaca wool, which cats are naturally attracted to. 
and my cats love to bat these things around and I like to throw them and have them run to get them as well. I can keep them in a cat toy box that is on our first floor and at nighttime they go and get them out of the box and bring them to the second floor or they bat them around the first floor. I'll find them in the kitchen or in our sunroom or wherever. And then I just collect them all and put them back in the box. Now with any new toy, you wanna to make sure that your cats are okay with it. So you need to supervise any new toy when your cats are first exposed to it. But I feel very comfortable leaving my cats alone with these toys and that's why I keep them in their toy box as I do with the Yow Catnip Banana. Every cat toy video should have a wand toy. These are the Rumpy Cats Winged Bug Teaser. If your kitties like the sound of like a, a bug that has wings, this is a great option because there's little mylar wings on this little guy and it's really strong. You don't have to worry about it like ripping off of the string or off of the wand and it provides a different type of bug to chase rather than your typical you know mouse or rodent of some sort on the end of a wand toy. It really allows your cats to like jump and play too. If Charlie prefers those kind, whereas Trig seems to prefer more mouse-like, the Rumpy Cats adjustable wand toy is another option from Rumpy Cats. I misspoke there. Charlie likes the mice and the the bug type ones. Trig just is obsessed with this one right now which is also included in this video and you can check it out. So Charlie likes to chase these but he also likes to haul them away in his mouth and I love when I when Charlie's not eating well I love to play with a wand toy with him because again it helps that hunt play instinct and then he wants to go eat afterwards so I really have come to appreciate wand toys not only for the exercise and stimulation that they provide but also because they're mentally stimulating for Charlie to want to eat can be a struggle sometimes because he's sort of a picky eater. The adjustable wand toy is cool too because you can obviously adjust the length of it, but you can also replace the different attachments. So you don't always have to play with the same one. You'll see that one's a little different than the mouse one that we had earlier. And I'm gonna include links to all this stuff below so you can check it out. Last up is the Go Cat the Bee cat toy. If you guys have been watching our live videos on Facebook, you know that Trig has become obsessed with this thing. I don't know <laughs> what it is, but once he turned 13, we reviewed this when he was 11 and a half, 12, I'm not really sure. And they both liked it. This is video footage of the review, but not to the extent that he loves it now. Like he, he's obsessed. He comes downstairs every time I'm working downstairs and wants to play with the bee. And I'm like, Chiggy, we cannot play with the bee today. He started to carry it around in his mouth and meow and do some thrusting with his pelvis. I don't know what that's all about, but it is a hit. And as I've been doing the Facebook Lives, so many readers have talked about how much they like the bee. And there's also one that's called the bird that we don't have. And it, it's just as popular among readers as well. All right guys, that wraps it up for our favorite cat toys video. Please let me know what questions or comments you have in the comment section below. I will include in the about section all the links to our full review videos, as well as links to where you can buy these products if you're interested. Please share in the comments what your favorite cat's toys are or previous cats, what their favorite cat toys are. I always like to learn about new ones and hear what other cats are attracted to. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.